Welcome back to the cabin, Dinky Doo. Welcome to the Sunday edition. Now, 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 now. Oh, I got some stuff that's been going off. Right now, before I get into what I've been doing with the building work and a few other things that's been happening, um, I've got a product review. Don't say, oh no, not another product review. Now listen, all these product reviews I've been doing is all stuff that either helps me at the cabin or will better my life at the cabin. Plus, it's stuff that I would recommend to you if you live off grid or anything like that, if you're going motorhomes, caravans, everything like that, or living off grid, like I've said, then it will all help people like you. Plus, with a bit of luck, I can get some discount codes for you all as well. So listen, I'm gonna do the presentation now. I remember these product reviews are honest reviews. Now, if I don't like it, I refuse to do the product review on it or if I did I'd say how bad it is and that's truth that I would actually and I do mean that. Now listen I'm going to do it, I'm going to do the product review now and then when I've done it I'll come back and I'll tell you everything I've been doing. I'll see you in a minute. Dinky do. Welcome back. This is the product review I'm doing. Now the company sent me out this power station about oh, a month ago now. I did a product review on it about two weeks ago. I really like it. I use it all the time, every single day. I really, really like it. Now they approached me two weeks ago to ask me, just as they, I did the product review on this, if I'd be willing to test this model out. It's the extra battery that goes with this power station. They asked me if I would try it out for them and do a review on it. Be honest and say if I like it or not and i've had it i've tried it and this is what i think to it right these are the information i've got notes so please forgive me now the one the product review i've already done already is a vitamin flash speed 1500 portable power station now this power station the capacity of it is a lithium battery and it's 1548 watt hour battery now the booster battery that goes with this that i'm doing the review on is a V2 one extra battery and it's a 1448 watt hour battery as well. Now both of these products are there is a promotion on with the company so they're slashing the prices for Black Friday and all the other uh, prime days and everything like that so if you want to get a bargain now's the time to get one so what we've got is the power station, the price for the power station, brand new if you was buying it and it weren't in promotion, is £1,299. At the moment it's on offer at £659. Now with the discount code which is in the description below you get £30 off and the booster pack, the proper price for that is £1,099 and the promotion price is £509 so for about a grand you get an absolute 11, well about £1100 you get an absolute powerhouse of power you're not going to be struggling at all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through a few things and I'll show you what I think what happens is with the power station see if I can get on here see if I can get on that's it with the power station, that's the power station obviously, you connect it by the cable that goes into the extra battery. Now there's no charging point as in mains power to charge this battery. What it does is it charges up through the portable power station. So what will happen is if you plug this in to charge it will fully charge this station up and once this is fully charged it will then send the electric through to charge this up okay so then this will charge up now when you want to take power from it it will drain from this first when this is empty it will go on to this and take this okay so you've got about roughly two hours worth of actual watt hour power to charge them up that's how long it roughly takes to charge them both up so what you do is when you want it on, obviously you turn the AC power on button and it says that at the moment there's 95% power. Now this is 100% charged up and what it's doing is it's saying as you can see the lights going across, there the indicator that the power's charged up. You've got a minus side on one and a plus on the other. So as you can see it's all the way into the plus and it's saying there's 95% power 
in this power bank okay now when this power bank goes to zero so it'll go down to zero straight away it will show 100 again on that for what this one is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug a few th p things in and let you see how it runs what I'm going to do is before I actually plug a few things in I'm going to talk, you, talk through this so obviously you've got three sockets here power sockets AC so you press that it comes on you press it again and it turns it on the sockets on you've got for your input you've got your mains power going in which is this cable here that takes charge this power cable here that goes to your mains or you've also got your adapter and also your solar adapter as well you've got your battery charge and you've got your USB cables for charging USB-C as well and then you've got your jump cable as well there and then you've got your power back cable as well for this power station okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug a few things in so you can kind of see it running so what I'll do is I'll put the USB in should hear it click There you are, that's clicked in. And what else have I got? I've got the iPad as well. So what I'll do is I'll put that into USB-C. And then I'll plug that in. You hear that click? There you are, did you hear that click? Did you hear it click? Dinky do, dinky do. That's it, I'm struggling here to get myself on a bit, aren't I? There we are, that might be a bit better. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug a few other things as well. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to plug in the fridge and the freezer so what I'll do is as you can see there's no light on in the fridge so I'm going to plug it in turn the power on and the fridge has just kicked in there you saw the light come on so you'll see that it's draining power it's at 95% and right now with the fridge being used and all the other devices it's using just short of 800 watts but the reason why it's using 800 watts is because even though that fridge is turned on now I've got a big chest freezer at the back so what I've done is to make this work I've unplugged it from something else plugged it into here so it's like use that big gulp of power to start it up so it's gone down there dramatically so everything's running over there as you can see this power station is running well as well now I do recommend this product now I have had this like I said for about a month now I think it's really really good I use it every single day as part of the arsenal with our power because end of the day we use a lot of power being off grid we're 100% off grid you can charge this up with solar as well now you can buy the solar panels off this company or you can use your own solar panels I would actually recommend getting possibly the solar panels off this company because they're in the sale as well so you can get a good set of solar panels that will charge it all up so bear that in mind as well now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just now get off and then I'll go through more detailed information about this product and I will catch you all in a minute this is the Vitoman flash speed 1500 you can wall charge this device on mains power as well now as you can see you can power up to 12 devices at once uh, there's DC outlets, AC outlets and USB charging points, USB-C and standard USB-C car charge and solar charge also with the wall charge you can charge it up in one hour and with solar panels it's four to eight hour charge also if you live off grid life you can charge up your camera, your phone, your drone, speakers, wireless speakers and blender and a projector all at very fast speeds. You can also power up your power tools as well, your circular saw, your air conditioner, your electric drill, your cutting machine, air fryer and electric oven plus other devices. Also, you can power home appliances, a coffee maker, refrigerator, which I've shown already, microwave, washing machine, cooker, 
and a 50 inch TV. Now if the power goes off you can also have backup power for your laptop or your computer. You can also 12 volt car charge as well, it takes 30 to 14 hours. These are the solar panels I was telling you about. These are the 400 watt solar panels. It takes four to six hours to charge. Now you can get them in either 400 watts or 220 watts. As you can see, they're on offer at the moment. I would highly recommend buying these. You've also got safeguards as well with all the safety features. Welcome back. So I've gone into more detail with the power station, as you know. The power bank is pretty basic, you just plug it in, get it going, it's not detailed usage like it is the power station. So you literally plug it in, you press the button, you turn it on and it transfers the power. And it obviously does it the other way as well. So it's very simple, I would recommend this product. Now what it also does, for space as well, you can put it, it fits perfect on top there. So you've got it, so it's not like you've got to put it at the side and find room. It fits, it's sturdy, I'm giving it a good shake. It's absolutely brilliant. Now I always put it down just because of space that I will be putting it up on the shelf over there. Now, like I've said before, there's a discount code of £30 off. It, all the information is in the description below, plus a website link as well. So I really would consider it and I really do uh, I really do recommend this product right I will see you all a bit further in the video so we've started outside putting the trim out uh, it's been a long process this finally you feel like you're getting somewhere with the cabin when you're getting the trim on uh, we've done a lot of the building work inside now as you've seen in previous videos the kitchen's virtually done now so just bits and bats left to do with that. We've got to get the gas man to come in and connect the gas cooker and the hob. I've had a good friend called Nick come and see me today. And it was a nice surprise. He came to the cabin and he had a couple with me and we had a good natter. Uh, he's actually done jobs for me in the past, actually. And we were talking about old times and everything. He's actually had... A couple of dogs off me that I, I bred many years ago. While Nick was here, he was quizzing me about my solar system. Uh, he lives in a campsite not far from me, overlooking the sea at Port Patrick and up on the hillside. And he was asking me about my solar and the uh, lithium batteries that I have and everything and the power stations and where I got my solar panels from, which I've mentioned in other videos. That I actually got them off uh, a gentleman that was selling uh, job lots of them off eBay. He was buying them from solar pa solar farms down south that were taking the panels off when he was a few years old, and he was reselling them for them. So we bought we bought them in bulk actually. We bought twenty five solar panels, and it cost about seven hundred quid with delivery. So we got a really good price altogether. So I'm very pleased with them. We've put them on the roof and we've had no problems at all with them. We've had other people that we know that had panels at the same time as us and I think they had a few issues with them and the connectors and things like that where they had to change them. But we have, well, like I say, we had no problems at all. So he was asking me all about it and he's got a little shed at the side of his caravan and he's got some freezers in it and fridges and stuff. So he was asking me, how to set it all up and everything. So I said, I'll come along and help him if he wants. So so that were that where that's concerned really. And uh, I've had quite a few deliveries at the cabin last few days. Uh, I decided to buy a GoPro. So that's that's actually coming tomorrow, GoPro 11. So, so I've got some plans with that, what I want to be doing. And I've also bought a few other things as well for my GoPro when it comes. So I'll be doing, I'll be showing all that in the next week's video. And like I say, put the trim up. You do feel like you're getting to the end of, your, end of the building process. So we've been putting some filler up in the middle room. 
because there's been quite a bit of air getting through from outside on the night you can see it blowing slightly the curtains so we decided to put a load of expandable foam in so that sealed it all straight away and then we've also got to put the boards barrel boards inside to to finish it all off there's still quite a lot of jobs left on the outside to do and then we can start doing more other projects like we're wanting to build uh, a big room at the back that I can have as a bedroom so and it's going to be a studio at first till I build a proper studio in a couple of years time so we have to wait for the better weather for that because there is quite a bit of rubble at the back that we have to clear and brambles and everything so while it's the ground is so sodden we can't really get round the back to get to that so it's more a job for next spring summer time the extension at the back we've had some sad news actually at the cabin this week one of my older stud dogs that retired many years ago by the name of pete somebody might know him from the past he's penny glenn sniper and he was about 14, 15 year old and unfortunately his back end went so we had to ring up the vet and he came out and decided to put him down thought it was the kindest thing to do which I did as well so so we've been very upset about that and Kev took it really hard actually because it's the first time he's seen a, a dog really pass away type of thing so 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 unfortunately uh, we've not had a good run I've not had a good run with my health either and well I've been having problems I've been under the hospital with my stomach as well a lot of a lot of you know about this but some of you don't I'm having tests on and everything so I'm, I'm not in a good shape at all I've been crippled with a lot of pain Kev's not been so good either he's had depression and he's not been so good either so we we We've really had a run of bad luck health-wise lately. So, but we're hoping to, while the sun's out today, we're, we're getting some jobs done and we feel a bit better being outside. Because when you're inside, you get a lot of cabin fever. A lot of people think it's a fallacy that, but it is actually true. There is such a thing as cabin fever. And uh, it's a terrible thing when you get it, honestly. You're stuck in and you feel that you don't want to go out. Oh, it's terrible. Especially if you get the log burner going as well. You sat watching the flames on the fire. And that's it. You've lost a day before you know it. And uh, we're being careful with the fire that we're lighting as well. We're, we haven't got a lot of wood in, obviously, because of things happening. So we've got quite a few gas buckles in and everything. So if we need to put the gas fires on, we can put them on. So, But since this trim's gone up, um, which you're seeing now going up, then um, it's absolutely really warm now on a night. If we put the gas fire on normally, before we put all this trim on and the expandable foam, then we'd have the gas fire on and it'll warm the room up. we turn the fire off and within 15, 20 minutes it were cold again and last night i lit the fire and it was on for about 10 15 minutes of gas fire and it stayed warm for hours and hours so so it's a lot better and i'm a lot lot happier with it i really am i must admit it's a lot better having a bigger kitchen again now so i can't believe i used to live in that one room cabin right at the back a lot of you remember the videos right at the beginning in that one room so I feel a lot happier now we've got all this space. It's it's absolutely great, I must admit. I've, I thoroughly enjoy living in the cabin. Now, we're up to the point where we've got the trim on the sides here. And I'm going to now, in a second, shoot through and show you the final product that we've done today. Now, as you can see, this is the back end. I haven't finished it all together at the back. I've put the trim on, I've got the trim at the top and the trim there going down as you can see there at the top. So it's looking a lot better and it's a lot warmer. See along the front here I've put trim there as well. So it finishes off a lot better. We need to get that bench done, get it sanded down and painted. So it's all getting all sealed in. I could do with painting it again next year the cabin, give it some more oil base paint 
So, so that's about it. We've packed up now for the evening. So it's the end of the video now. So thank you very much for watching. And if you're new to the channel and you've not been on here before, please consider clicking the subscribe button. And if you could put the thumbs up in this video and also if you could leave a comment in the comment section below, it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. It really does, honestly. And I will do my very best to keep making as good of videos as I can. And if anybody's interested in supporting the channel, uh, the best way you can do it is again clicking the clicking the subscribe button and supporting us that way but if you want to go that little bit extra then we have a patreon channel as well if you look in the description below there's a link for the patreon it's roughly two pound 20 a month and you get loads of videos and photos that are different than what's on youtube and it's a great way to support us and i really do appreciate it if anybody will be interested in doing that and i will see you all next week back down at the cabin and don't ever forget dinky do stay safe stay well <laughs>